everyone, it's Brett Riches from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be reviewing the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light, which is an older model from Vivo Barefoot, but you can still get the shoe on Amazon. The Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is zero drop, which means they are completely flat like many Vivo Barefoot minimalist running shoes. The outsole is made of a new level of puncture resistant rubber. So these shoes are good and well built for running long distances. The outsole is about four millimeter, is thinner than many Vivo and Five Finger Trail running shoes. For instance, the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is thinner than the Vibram Five Fingers V Trail. It's thinner than the Vibram Five Fingers Bikila Evo. So basically, the Vivo Barefoot Evo Light is thinner than many Vibram Five Finger running shoes, except for maybe the Vibram Five Finger KSOs and the Vibram Five Finger Sia LS. The Vivo Barefoot Evo Light is also thinner than the Morel Vapor Glove too. The Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is lightweight, it weighs about seven ounces. However, even though it's thinner than many barefoot inspired running shoes, the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light are about two ounces heavier than many pure minimalist running shoes, which honestly, the added two ounces doesn't feel a world of difference, but I think because the shoe is water resistant and because of the puncture resistant premium durable outsole adds a little more weight to the shoe but the added durability is well worth the added weight but don't get the wrong impression that the evil lights are heavy because they are certainly not the vivo barefoot evil lights are very feather weight like a true barefoot inspired running shoe and for sure will allow you to perform at your highest level the vivo barefoot evil light is roomy because it has an M width toe box, which is important for a number of reasons. Mainly, a wide toe box allows the toes to fully spread out, which is essential for balance impact absorption. absorption when you are running on irregular surfaces or running through the trails. I feel that in regular traditional running shoes, you are in a constant balancing act, which is challenging, especially if you're running in the trails and the rubber outsole of traditional running shoes is normally stiff. The toe box is narrow, so your toes are crammed tightly together and the outsole thickness doesn't provide any sensory stimulation on the of the feet, which is needed for proper adaptation in your running form. So this is how traditional running shoes can be very distressing and highly injurious. Traditional running shoes can be very distressing and highly injurious. This is why I very much appreciate the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light because it's the perfect vehicle to get a clear sense of what's going on with your running form by enabling more efficient sensory feedback at the feet which gives you the opportunity to be better able to fix your running form and maintain good running form that is safe and efficient. The Vivo Barefoot Evil Light does come with a removable foam insole, which is handy for if you enjoy a little cushion for your stride, or if you wanna get closer to the ground, you can just remove the insole to get that even more barefoot feel, which is what I prefer. Overall, the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is more cushy even without the insole. It's more cushy than most Vivo Barefoot running shoes. Shoes. So if you prefer a little more underfoot protection, if you don't like to feel every single pebble that you step on, then the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is a good option for you. Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is very comparable to the new Balance MR00. Overall, the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is made of more softer and lighter materials with a stickier, grippier outsole for wetter surfaces as compared to other Vivo Barefoot running shoes. The Vivo Barefoot Evil Light is not just for road running, it's also really good for trail running because the shoe is constructed with a reliable, enduring, durable, multi-terrain grip outsole. They are good for long distance running, so the Evil Lights, well made for marathon, the Evil Lights are water resistant and they also dry quick and they can also be worn very comfortably without sock. They feel like a glove and in fact, the majority of wear testers really like how these shoes fit and that they are tremendous comfortable. Another essential characteristic of the Evil Light is that the shoes are really flexible, which provides healthy mechanical stimuli to allow healthy weight-bearing adaptations of the foot and the arch that the feet quickly strengthen and are able to deliver a more stable base for running. A lot of wear testers also mentioned that the Evil Light helped and even eliminated their knee pain and hip pain, which isn't a surprise because these claims are in line with other claims that minimal running shoes resolve long-standing injury and are an ideal solution to prevent and even treat 
running injuries like runner's knee, plantar fasciitis, and even hip pain. Because of the intensification of the ground feel and improved foot behavior, which sends a clear message that going more barefoot in terms of a running shoe is really the only way forward to make you a more indestructive runner because these types of shoes create the circumstances that leads to ongoing self-strengthening. So I'm confident that you will make really good progress in terms of injury treatment and injury prevention in the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light. These shoes really do connect with the human element of running. Overall, the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light seems to be the more durable Vivo Barefoot running shoe and they are exceptionally durable and they are very long lasting. So that's basically all I have to report on the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light. I think it's important that we continue to look at how disastrous traditional running shoes are for our feet and traditional running shoes definitely do not make your running form safer and stronger. In fact, these types of running shoes, the traditional running shoe does the exact opposite. You can't make lasting progress as a runner if your feet are weak and in the traditional running shoe, your feet aren't being put to much productive use. And based on wear tester reviews on the Vivo Barefoot Evo Light and most barefoot leg running shoes, their reviews demonstrate clearly that minimalist runners and even barefoot runners don't have the same kinds of problems as a runner who wears a traditional running shoe because in barefoot like running shoes nothing is interfering with the foot's function as these shoes only challenge your foot to do more and function more and of course Anytime you can feel the ground, as in wearing a barefoot inspired running shoe, this helps put your running form and especially your forefoot strike landing into better perspective so that you run more reactively, more safely, and obviously more self-aware of your overall mechanics, which is a necessary part to run injury free. If you're looking for an alternative to the Vibram Five Fingers, I think the Vivo Barefoot Evil Light will be better for you because it is reflective of the barefoot experience, just like most Vivo Barefoot running shoes really are. If you've enjoyed this review, you will also like my other reviews on barefoot inspired running shoes on my blog, runforfit.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on barefoot running and forefoot running and become more informed on the dangers of heel strike running. Thanks for listening and watching. Have fun out there on the roads. Happy New Year. Bye for now.